Hello everyone, I'm Benjamin Mel, Regional Sales Manager for Gallagher Fluid Seals, and welcome to the final installment of our Surface Finish webinar series. In this segment, we will be discussing Surface Finish recommendations for both static and dynamic applications that include O-rings, cut flange gaskets, oil seals, and PTFE seals. Additionally, we will review a number of general considerations. In our previous webinar, we defined and discussed several amplitude parameters. We will now apply these parameters in our recommendations that follow. We will start with O-rings. In static applications, mating surfaces should have a 32 micro inch RMS value for liquids and a 16 micro inch RMS value for gases and vacuum. The side walls of the gland should have a 63 micro inch RMS value. A dynamic mating surface should have a 16 micro inch RMS value. The side walls of the gland, as well as the groove diameter, which is the static mating surface in dynamic applications, should all have a 32 micro inch RMS value. In dynamic applications, a microscopic orange peel type of surface is optimal and can be described as containing smooth, rounded features for the O-ring to slide over, and small craters to act as lubricant reservoirs. This preferred surface could be accomplished by shot peening the hardware with metal or glass beads. An even better surface can be attained by electropolishing. The next product category is cut flange gaskets. The recommended range of RA values is 125 to 250 micro inches. Adequate surface friction is necessary to prevent gasket failures, which include excessive creep, excessive extrusion, and blowout. Polished and finely finished flange surfaces are undesirable. The flange surface should be serrated with a concentric or spiral finish. If serrations are not an option, the next best option is a finishing method that produces multi-directional lay. Also, avoid manufacturing processes that produce lines across the flange face, which will yield direct leak paths like those produced by linear surface grinding. Now, let's move on to rotary applications with oil seals. The ideal surface for elastomeric shaft seals is a plunge ground finish of 8 to 16 micro inch RA with a cutoff of 0.25 millimeters and a lead angle of less than 0.05 degrees. Two additional parameters to control and monitor would be an RZ range of 65 to 115 micro inch and an RP range of 20 to 50 micro inch. Rounding out our surface finish recommendations are PTFE seals. When sealing light gases in a static application, the recommended RA is 12 micro inch. When sealing light gases in a dynamic application, the maximum recommended RA is 6 micro inch. When sealing low viscosity fluids in a static application, the maximum recommended RA is 16 micro inch. When sealing low viscosity fluids in a dynamic application, the maximum recommended RA is 8 micro inch. When sealing medium to high viscosity fluids in a static application, the maximum recommended RA is 32 micro inch. When sealing medium to high viscosity fluids in a dynamic application, the maximum recommended RA is 12 micro inch. If a general range had to be specified for a dynamic application, the RA recommendation is between 4 and 8 micro inch. For improved seal performance and characterization of the surface finish, parameters RZ and RP should be specified and monitored along with RA. The RZ recommendation is 40 micro inch maximum and the RP recommendation is 24 micro inch maximum. Shown in the below graph is the effect of surface finish based on RA value for wear rate, leakage rate, and seal friction. As illustrated, all three curves level off between 4 to 8 micro inch RA. When designing and specifying mating surface parameters 
for dynamic applications, a smoother surface finish is preferred with respect to overall seal performance. In the final section of this webinar, we will review some general surface finish consideration. For starters, surface finish is directly related to application and seal performance. Improving and controlling the ideal surface finish will usually increase manufacturing costs, which often presents itself as a trade-off between the cost of manufacturing the hardware and application performance. To obtain the best seal performance, avoid finishing methods which promote the formation of leak paths in the application. For example, avoid strong axial lay in a reciprocating application or a spiral pattern on the shaft in a rotary application. One roughness parameter alone does not give an adequate description of a sealing surface since it does not provide a complete representation of the surface profile. A comprehensive definition of surface finish for sealing application involves at least two parameters and in some cases the ratio or relationship of one parameter to another. A surface finish with a high concentration and magnitude of peaks will result in excessive seal wear. Surface peaks should be removed to diminish seal wear with a polishing process. Grinding without polishing can produce frequent surface peaks that will abrade and damage seals. Friction and seal wear will increase significantly if a surface finish is too smooth because the available lubricant film and reservoir depths will be substantially reduced. A surface finish relatively void of peaks but containing valleys for lubrication retention is highly desirable for sealing applications. Properly defining, measuring, and controlling surface finish is critical to the functional reliability and service life of a seal. To summarize, in this webinar, we provided surface finish recommendations for a variety of seal types and applications. We also discussed numerous general considerations with respect to surface finish and seal performance. We hope you enjoyed our surface finish webinar series. Take care, be safe, and thank you for your time.